Yuan Shu has perished. As the true inheritor to the rule of the noble Yuan clan, it is my task now to lead this land in the right direction. So now he states his claim to the nobility after Yuan Shu has been eliminated. The land is no longer a place that can be ruled on the strengths of one's name alone. It takes power to bring about a new world order. That is why I have fought all this time and will continue to do so. When we were there, he was obsessed with being in a position of authority. Of course, that alone will get you nothing in this world. We couldn't care less about one's name or authority. We just need a land to call our own, and plenty of powerful allies to have our back. Now that our objective has been achieved, the coalition is disbanded. We fought as allies here, but we will soon be enemies. Sooner or later, Shu province will come under threat. When it does, what will I be able to do? My lord, a messenger has arrived from Lord Dongcheng, attendant to his imperial majesty. Is that so? Then you must show him in at once. Unfortunately, the Emperor is now little more than Cao Cao's puppet. Lord Dong Cheng proposes to slay this traitor and rescue the Emperor. Lord Dong Cheng is recruiting like-minded individuals to his cause. Lord Liu Bei, would you consent to adding your name to this declaration of intent? The names of Master Yuan Shao and Master Sun Tzu are here. Has Master Cao Cao's abuse of power grown so extreme? Still, while his path is not the one I would have chosen, I would not have been able to return to Shu province were it not for Master Cao Cao. So then you intend to side with the traitor. Is that your decision, Master Liu Bei? No. If his Imperial Majesty is displeased, then it will affect his leadership, and the people will not know peace. I will lend you what little strength I have. Thank you, most kind. I must go and make my report to Lord Dong Chang. So if you will excuse me. Huh! It looks like Cao Cao's finally going to get his comeuppance. Still, brother, I must say that something about this doesn't seem right to me. If we had been in league with Master Cao Cao, then their plan would have been exposed at once, and the messenger slain. And yet, the messenger was quite happy to show us the document, without any sign of concern for his own safety. His actions strike me as far too cavalier for a secret messenger. I bring news! Cao Cao's vast army is on the march towards Shu province. What? Why would Master Cao Cao attack us? I bring fresh intelligence. It appears that Cao Cao has raised troops in retaliation for Lord Liu Bei's alleged involvement in a plot to assassinate him. No. He must have gotten a hold of that document I signed. Now that it's come to this, we have no choice, brother. We have to prepare to face them in battle right away. But we are heavily outnumbered. If we meet them head on, we will simply be shattered into a thousand pieces. Holding up in the castle will be just as futile. 
then what do you suggest we do, huh? Abandon Shu Province and flee. If I am not here, Shu Province should be able to escape the ravages of war. Brother. You're serious? Shu Province has been the site of conflict for far too long. Now, at last, its people are able to live in peace. I cannot allow my own carelessness to threaten that peace. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, I ask that you show forbearance. For now, we must flee from Cao Cao's clutches. Cao Cao's forces have moved much more quickly than I had anticipated. We're completely surrounded. The enemy is large in number and well trained, still. We must find some way to escape this dire situation. <laughs> Defensive positions! Whether that document is authentic or not, the fact remains that you are implicated in an assassination plot against my lord. I refuse to let you get away from it. Our lord made up his mind after seeing that list. I shall withdraw for now. However, I will never forgive those who threaten my lord's life. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. I knew you could do it! Fight on, brother! I am Lee Dion, your worst nightmare. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. You are an example for us all, brother. I can't retreat now. Oh, Lord. Please forgive me. We have overcome the enemy's elite forces. But what they said about that letter concerns me. Still, I cannot afford to worry about that now. Come, everyone! We must escape with haste! Now, take defensive positions! Such a pathetic traitor to slip past me. You shall be put to death for your crimes. More enemies. We'll be unable to retreat unless we do something about them. 
Stands in Cao Cao's way. All right, now we can move on. Hurry, let's go. I claim another victory in the name of my brother. You are an example for us all, brother. <laughs> We've somehow managed to extricate ourselves from the jaws of death. Is everyone all right? They went this way! Don't let them get away! Uh, we've run so far and yet we still cannot shake them. Damn it! Why do Cao Cao's men have to be so stubbornly persistent? There's nothing else for it. I will act as a decoy. What? Well, uh, hey! What are you saying, brother? You could not be allowed to perish here, brother. You must flee and stay alive. Shang Fei, you must keep him safe. Wait! Guan Yu! Damn and blast it all! Come on, brother. If we stay here, we'll end up getting caught as well. Guan Yu, forgive me. Zhong Liao, have you come here to slay me? No, that is not why I am here. I have come because I have an obligation to tell you something, Master Guan Yu. Your lord, Liu Bei, is safe. 
We've received reports that he managed to escape from the battlefield. That is wonderful news. Thank you. I can now die here with no regrets. The fact that your lord still lives means that his ambition does too. Does it not go against your sense of honor to give up on that ambition and die here? My lord has stated that he wishes for you to join him. So, what do you say to entering his service? I have but one lord, and that will always be Liu Bei. I could never truly serve Master Cao Cao. As soon as I hear news of my brother, I will go to him. If you still desire my services even with that caveat, then I am prepared to surrender. I understand. I will be sure to inform our lord accordingly. Guan Yu, have you finally decided to join me as a member of my army? I have but one lord, and that will always be Liu Bei. You know that, Master Cao Cao. <laughs> I can see that you are a man who ignores kindness in the name of misplaced loyalty. What is it that you desire? To know the whereabouts of Master Liu Bei. I see. So you are saying that once you know where Liu Bei is, you will leave here to rejoin him. However, I do owe you a debt of gratitude for sparing my life. I intend to leave only after I have repaid that debt through my deeds on the field of battle. Your intentions are admirable. Very well. I shall place you in charge of the defense of our main camp. I am placing great trust in you. Does he intend to keep me away from the battlefield? Master Cao Cao is a man for whom the ends always justify the means. Surely using me as a pawn on the front lines would be in his best interests. Unless there is some reason that he cannot allow me to see battle. The straw shoemaker. Recent. So all the rough sleeping means. Me. I've felt the. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. Very well. Cao Cao's thinking of attacking you and... Hey! Get on in here! Come again! Hey! Get on in here! Come again!
Enemies' bases is the key to defeating them.
I would like to discuss something with you. <laughs> 